What if I told you you can get a down jacket for only $40? You're probably thinking, Nelson, you're f***ing crazy. You can't get a down jacket for that cheap. Well, you can. From where you ask, you already know. This winter, Walmart's whipping out these down jacket brands called Langwiku. Langwiku? I wanted to compare this dirt cheap down jacket brand with the most popular down jacket brand of all time, and that is Canada Goose. I have with me the Canada Goose Crofton down jacket that retails for $1,100. That is a 185% price difference between the two jackets. But is the Canada Goose down jacket 185% better than the Walmart down jacket? Keep watching because I think you'll be surprised. Before I get started, get rid of your old bulky bifold wallet and get yourself a beautiful and minimalist extra card holder. Not only are these beautifully designed, but they are also made of environmentally certified premium full grain leather, so you know it's going to be durable and last you for years to come. The Parliament wallet comes in six different colorways. I have with me the classic brown, Breshka bronze, and black wood. Each one of the colorways are absolutely stunning. The quick card access with just one click of a button is a game changer, and the slim profile makes it so easy to carry around. The Parliament has an extra flap where you can store more cards and even cash. This can hold up to 12 cards and also blocks RFID to prevent wireless theft. So check out the website, they have so many awesome items and now is the perfect time because right now they're having their Black Friday sale. Plus you can get up to 55% off using the code Fashion Files at checkout. So use my code, check out the website and I promise you that you won't be disappointed. Let's start off with the material of the Walmart down jacket. Right when I opened my package, there's a strong smell of plastic radiating from the jacket. The shell is made from 100% nylon and the lining is also 100% nylon. The jacket is filled with 90% down and 10% feather. I didn't know what the fill power was so I sent a message to the brand and apparently they don't know either. So how does the fabric feel? Imagine you touch a little bit of frosting from a cake and you rub it against your hands. Instead of washing it, you just leave it on for an hour. Your hands are going to feel sticky. And that's how this material feels when I rub my hands against it. My guess is whatever coating they're putting on the jacket is not settling well on the fabric. For the Canada Goose Croft and Down jacket, the fabric feels like a trash bag but more thin and a bit more smooth. Most importantly, the jacket doesn't give off that sticky residue on my hands, which is how all jackets should be. The shell is made from 100% ripstop nylon and the lining is made from 100% polyamide. This jacket is filled with 90% duck down and 10% feather. It has a fill power of 750 and a scale of 1 to 5 in the thermal experience index. This jacket is a 4 which means it can handle temperatures as low as negative 25 celsius or negative 13 degrees fahrenheit. Both jackets are extremely lightweight. The Canada Goose weighs in at only 922 grams and the Walmart jacket weighs in at 890 grams. Now let's talk about the features of each jacket. Jacket. The Canada Goose Cropped and Down Jacket is waterproof and windproof. How waterproof is the jacket you ask? Let's do some testing. I'm outside my house, it's like 20 degrees, it's freezing, and I'm about to spray myself with the hose. Let's do this. For my body. For my body. I'm aiming for your body. Right, I don't know where I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, Three. Now take a look at these results. My t-shirt is completely dry. The water didn't even leak through the zipper. Canada Goose Cropton Jacket passes the hose test. The Walmart Down Jacket also claims that it's waterproof and windproof. How waterproof you may ask? I'm not spraying myself a hose again, especially with the cheap Walmart Down Jacket. I can't. YouTube ad revenue does not pay me enough to do that again. Instead, I'm going to take this glass of water and pour it over the jacket. Let's take a look inside. You can see the water leaked everywhere. There's a huge water spot here and also on the sides. And I didn't even pour that much water. This jacket is terrible and will not keep you dry in the rain. So glad I didn't spray myself with the holes in this jacket or else I would have been soaked. The Walmart jacket has a total of three pockets plus one small pouch. There's two zip pockets by your belly and another zip pocket by your left arm. There's also a small button pouch right here, but in the interior there are zero pockets. Come on Lane, we cool, we need some inside pockets. The Canada Goose jacket has a total of three zip pockets. Two zip pockets at the belly that are both lined with the fleece to keep your hands nice and toasty. On the inside there are two big fishnet pouches and one huge vertical zip pocket. Flipping this pocket inside out, there's a Canada Goose branded webbing 
jumping strap. Why is that there you may ask? Because the jacket has a very cool feature where you can stuff the entire jacket into this pocket and it becomes a stylish strap on bag. For the zippers, Lang Bee Cool uses a brand called Saab, S-A-B, which is a lot cheaper than YKK, but it does the job fine. Unfortunately, there is no two-way zip on this jacket. Canada Goose has YKK Vizlon zippers that are great for harsh winter conditions. As you saw earlier when I got sprayed with the hose and still remain dry. It has two-way zip plus a very long pull tab so you can easily zip even with thick gloves on. At the top of the sleeves, you see the signature Canada Goose X edition patch. For the Languicu jacket, you probably expect to see a Languicu logo patch. That makes total logical sense, right? Well, logical sense is not this brand's strong suit. Because instead of a Languicu patch, you have an Element branded patch. That's a skateboard brand, and they don't even make down jackets. So I have no idea where they got this patch from and why they would even stick this onto their jackets. Element clearly didn't approve any of this because this is copyright infringement. So I don't know what's going on. But anyways, let's move on. Let's talk about some positives of this jacket because I've been shitting on this jacket for all video long. It does have fleece lined chin guard for added warmth and comfort. It also features a stand up collar to keep your neck cozy. The sleeves have knit cuffs that are comfortable and lock in heat so wind doesn't slip through your arms. For the Cannon Goose jacket, it also has the knit cuffs surrounded by the lovely down insulation so your arm gets complete coverage. Cannon Goose doesn't play around when it comes to extreme weather. That's why they make their hoods so freaking massive. The hood will cover well past your face and if that's not enough, they even add a 3 inch brim to shield your face even more. So torrential rain, blizzard, whatever you name it, this hood has got you covered. Literally. In contrast, Languicool jacket has a much smaller hood with a shorter brim that most likely won't protect you from heavy rain or snow. The hood is removable through the zipper. Now let's move on to the fit. Both jackets are in the size medium. For the Cannon Goose jacket, shoulder to shoulder measures to 18 inches, chest measures to 24 inches, sleeve lengths are 26 and a half inches, and the length is 27 inches. For the Languicool jacket, shoulder to shoulder measures to 20 inches, chest measures to 23 inches, sleeve lengths are 26 inches, and the length is 27 inches. This is how the two jackets look on me side by side. First impression, you probably think Canada Goose fits large because I look like a muffin wearing this, but looks can be deceiving. It looks a lot larger than it actually is because it is overstuffed with down insulation. The shoulder opening on the Canada Goose is actually two inches more narrow than the Languicu jacket. The chest is only an inch larger on the Canada Goose jacket. The sleeve length is half an inch longer and the body length is the same at 27 inches. Canna Goose without a doubt values functionality over looks. Like come on just look at me, I look like a giant fat blob. But there is a trade off to looking like a fat blob, the overly puffy down insulation is so so comfortable. It feels like pillows are hugging all around my body. I'm probably at the stage in my adulthood where it's time to value comfort over looks. For a size medium, Languicu fits slim. With its 20 inch shoulder and 23 inch chest opening, this jacket fits more like a small, so sizing up is a must and you may even go up two sizes if you plan to layer underneath. Here's how both jackets look like zipped up. I hate the texture of the Languicu jacket against my skin. It's smooth, but it's very grippy, especially when it makes contact with my neck and face. It feels like it's sticking and I can already tell that the breathability in this jacket is absolutely terrible. Here's how the jackets look with the hoods on. There's a huge difference as you can see. The Canon Goose has the snorkel hood design with this extremely long brim. Any type of weather, your head and face isn't gonna feel a thing. Whereas the Languicu jacket is just a regular hood. It'll keep you warm and dry during light rainfall. But if you're looking for a jacket that will protect you from heavy snow, rain, and cold, then the Languicu jacket isn't gonna do a thing for you. Now let's talk about the warmth of these jackets starting with the Canada Goose. It's about 22 degrees with wind chill. I've been wearing the Canada Goose cropped and down jacket for about 4 hours now and I can conclude that this jacket is incredibly warm. I mean look at this jacket, it's completely overstuffed with down insulation. Luckily I didn't get mugged because I'm just wearing a t-shirt underneath and I would freaking freeze to death. With the hood on, that just brings this to another level of warmth. This jacket is rated to handle temperatures as low as negative 20 Celsius. So at negative 5 Celsius or negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit, I am feeling incredibly warm. 
I can literally be outside all day wearing this jacket and not get frostbite and die. I just switched over to the Languiku jacket and man, the difference is astronomical. The down insulation doesn't feel like it's placed evenly. Like for example, I can feel the wind chill hitting my chest area more than my belly area. Even with the hood on, the wind chill has no problem blowing on my face. I only wore this jacket for about an hour and I had to call it. The Languiku jacket did not keep me warm at all. So with all that said, how does a $40 Walmart down jacket compare to an 1100 Canada Goose down jacket? There really is no comparison. The Canada Goose down jacket is well constructed, keeps you warm, and the material feels great. In contrast, the Walmart down jacket has so many flaws. It reeks of rubber, feels awful against your skin, and most importantly, it doesn't keep you warm in below freezing temperatures. If you're looking for a good budget down jacket, then I recommend Eddie Bauer. They have solid down jackets for under $150 that are well constructed, and most importantly, will keep you warm. So in conclusion, even though the Walmart down jacket is only $40, please, please, I'm begging you, don't ever buy this. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.